Hey everybody, how's it going? So really quick, I'm going to show how you can get your Dexcom G6 to work on your, most people know how to get it on their phone, but I'm also going to show how to uh, get it on your Samsung watch. So this is my Galaxy watch, and you can see there I have my reading there on my watch. So you can see, same as my receiver there and also right there on my home screen. So I'm gonna erase this really quick and uh, everything so like it's not even there and uh, we'll get into it and I'll show you how it works. All right, <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you this on my wife's phone so since I've already had this installed on my phone, it's just pulling up all my old info. And I want to show you exactly how uh, this works. So I'm going to go ahead and show you on my wife's phone. So I'll have this link uh, posted on the screen. I'll also try to post it uh, down below, but hopefully it doesn't get uh, erased. This does, this link does need to be entered exactly how is. Um, with the capital letters and everything. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this top one and it's going to tell you blah blah blah. Do you want to allow this to be installed from an external so I'm going to hit yes, and then I'm going to open. And so as you can see, it's not um, allowing. So I'm going to do allow from this source. Install. All right, so I'm done there. Now I'm going to go to the Play Store. And I'm going to download wearable. Widgets. I'm going to install. That's done. Now I'm going to go to my Galaxy app. All right, so now I'm in the Samsung Galaxy. So now I'm going to go to watch and I'm also going to type in the same wearable wearable widgets and it's that one right there. So it'll say that it's for the S3 uh, Frontier but it'll also work for the other Samsung watches and the Galaxy watch. So I'm going to download that. Okay. Now once those are all done, I'm going to go over here to my night watch. You're going to allow, understand, save. Now what you need to do is you need to go over here to the settings and you're going to scroll down and you're going to click read from Dexcom share and then it's going to pull up account login and your password so you're going to enter that that's from your Dexcom app so let me enter that all right so once those are um, your credentials are put in there you're going to put Android Wear then you're gonna go back out and you're gonna to go to your wearable widgets you're going to find the night watch app and there's two different ones you can do I'm just gonna click that and you're just gonna hit create and it just tells you about the companion app on your watch. So 
So there you go. Now you can see what my current blood sugars are since I logged in. So now I'm going to go over here to the watch. And I'll just go over where I can add a widget. And I'm going to find the wearable widgets right there. Click on that. So it's going to connect. And it's going to ask you to allow. So it's going to connect. Um, this might not. Uh, for some people it might not connect and what you need to do is you need to go to your Dexcom app and it will give you a email uh, that you have to add inside your Dexcom app underneath your followers so you will enter that and then it will allow you to uh, pull it up so I'm just waiting for this to connect oops and see I double tapped it so it actually opened up the app there So it's at the very end. And sometimes it'll take a second. So like if I have the phone closed and that's where it's supposed to be, if I double tap, oh, there it is. If I double tap on it, it will pull it up. So you can see how my readings are. Yeah, I was high a little bit earlier. So it will uh, show it on there. And then you can also, if you would like, you can actually add that on your phone as well underneath a widget so like i said i will leave the uh link for this down below if you guys have any questions or if you have any problems uh leave me leave a comment down below and uh i will get back to you and i will uh help you help you out so yeah that's how you get it to work on your uh samsung watch thanks for watching guys take care